So I just picked up the new Apple Watch Series 5. Got the 40 millimeter. And let's go ahead and unbox it. I gotta do this with one hand. As I don't have a tripod or anything set up, this is just all straight from the car. So here we go, here's the sport band. Here's a cool little box that y'all have probably seen a million times already. And then there's the watch itself. Let's go ahead and put that aside. Check it out. It's in a nice little fancy, like a felt package here. Very cool. Let's see if I can take this out without dropping it. Now again, I got the 40 millimeter. I don't have big wrists, and I want to, I want to keep it subtle. I know this big old square thing kind of looks awkward sometimes if you have it kind of protruding and whatnot. At least for me. So there it is, right there. And I'll go ahead and do a setup, and I'll be back in a little bit to give you kind of my first initial thoughts on the Apple Watch Series Five. Yeah, let's see if it says it on here. There you go, it says Apple Watch Series 5 at the top. All right, I'll be right back. So here's uh, my first impressions of the Apple Watch Series 5. Um, I just picked this up today and been playing around with it for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, some things that I've noticed is that, uh, yeah, the always-on display is pretty cool. Um, I did get this off of the Galaxy Watch that I own, and uh, it's it's pretty awesome to have that uh, feature on a watch to make it feel like a real timepiece. As far as you don't have to constantly shake your wrist to turn on the display, you kind of see a dimly lit version uh, with the time and whatnot. Uh, another thing is you get a compass. So let me go ahead and access that off camera here. So the compass is now included in the apologize for that noise it's, uh, there's cars whizzing by but as you can see you have a compass um, so if you're navigating in, in the woods or whatnot you're going hiking you want to make sure you always have uh, the correct uh, direction that you're walking in or, or heading to so um, that's a cool feature and then the other thing is you also get 32 gigs of storage over the 16 gigs of storage on previous models so it's definitely a bonus if you have a lot of Apple Music, uh, you know, a lot of songs you want to download and whatnot. Um, if you're coming from a Series 3 and older, I definitely recommend the Apple Watch Series 5. If you have an Apple Watch Series 4, I don't necessarily think it's time to upgrade just yet. Uh, yeah, it's cool to have the always-on display and have a compass and, and extra storage. But uh, at the end of the day, if you're wanting to shell out another six, $700, I would actually wait probably till next year's uh, model and they maybe change up the design or add more features and functionality um, but again this is the apple watch series 5 um, definitely a cool little timepiece. piece um, i do prefer the galaxy watch as far as the overall design um, i do like that rounded display over the square display um, but i mean they're both uh, awesome watches and you can't go wrong with either one so uh, again, this is a quick, just my first impressions of the Apple Watch Series 5, and I will have an in-depth review and tips and tricks and all that other stuff uh, coming up later on this channel. So please stay tuned and uh, y'all enjoy the rest of your day. All right, take care.